Welcome to this explainer video brought to you by getyourwings.co.uk on triangles of velocity. Some of the reasons you would need to know triangles of velocity include getting through your navigation exam and also planning your cross-country flights for an MPPLM. You'll need some things before we get going and these are listed out here. First thing we're going to do is on a sheet of paper we'll draw north and then we'll add to it our track true or heading and for this example we're using Chatteris to Boston and a heading of 349 degrees. Next go to the Met Office and look up the wind speed and direction from form 214. Draw that on a piece of paper as we have here, marking it with three arrows to show that it's the wind speed. Now we will mark the wind speed from point A to point B, in this case it's 15, so we'll measure along that line 15 millimetres and mark a point. We're flying at 70 knots, so we will now draw a line that is 70 millimetres long. Make sure that at the 70 millimetre mark it intersects our track true, point C. Once we've done that, we can take a look at what each of the elements are and how we read them. So line A to B, the wind line, 15 millimetres indicates our wind strength. AC on our track two, the heading that we drew. B to C, 70 millimetres long, as this is our cruising speed of 70 knots. If we now measure in millimetres A to C, we get 67 millimetres. Ground speed is 67 knots. If we measure the angle B to C, we will get our heading true of 336 degrees. The heading that we will need to fly in the air to offset the wind and the drift angle we can calculate by measuring angle D which is 13 degrees and if we add the 13 degrees onto our heading true we'll get our true track that we started with. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did why not like and follow for more videos from getyourwings.co.uk.